Today we got a lot of Gen Z cringe. Maybe even the worst of the worst Gen Z cringe that is out on the internet right now. But yeah, I'm in Gen Z right now and safe to say it's pretty interesting. Just seeing all this stuff floating around online, I think we're in a pretty interesting era, we'll say. McDonald's doesn't need to hire security when I'm on the shift. No, they don't, man. They got the best bouncer in the f***ing game. They got this guy. But yeah, if someone is that desperate and sad that they steal a $2 McChicken, they got this guy on the shift. He'll chase after him like that m from Subway Surfers. What the hell does that dude sound like again? Was it like, hey! You'll get the smoke from this guy. I don't know why you would willingly work at a McDonald's. Like, I, I don't feel like dealing with hangry customers, not, not the movement. And anytime I go to, like, some sort of fast food place, they're always busy. We are all on a journey, but at what sense of urgency do you operate? In the animal kingdom, when a lion wakes up, it chases what it needs to survive. When a gazelle wakes up, it's chasing what it needs to survive. Will you choose to be the lion or the gazelle? Bro, this shit's making me... <laughs> Tear up, man. That, that was so motivational. Yeah, guys, would you be the lion or the gazelle, man? Tell me right now. Nah, but seriously, though, I don't know what any of this means. I, I really don't. I'm not some scholarly YouTuber with, you know, documentary, this and that. No, I have no idea. But yeah, lion, gazelle, whatever the f is, I'm staying on that YouTube grind set every morning. Like, bro, it's not that deep. I don't know where the f this was for the last video. If you work out because you want your body to look a certain way, oh, f I already know what this is about. If you work out because you want your body to look a certain way, you don't care about health, you are fat phobic. Well, I guess I'm a fat phobic monster, guys. I'm just a horrible person. Man, I'm just, oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible person because I want to work out. Man. Like, wow, man, you, you really hurt my feelings. And I'm gonna step outside and everyone's just gonna be like, wow, oh, that's the fat phobic kid. Get him. Get and I will cease to exist. I'll be gone. But yeah, if you do step outside, literally nobody is gonna be like that because everyone who is is cooped up inside on the internet. I'm just saying right now, outside is the spot, bro. Hey, let me just talk. Thank you guys. Oh my, what is this? I don't like this mustache gift. I don't like it. Stop it, Jocelyn. I have no idea how 9,000 people can stand this constant crying. Or, well, fake crying. And I don't know how a man can stream for, like, long hours of himself just fake crying the entire time. Like, it, it will always puzzle me. How a man can actually do this. Now, I don't know who's donating to him. Maybe people are trolling him or whatnot. I don't know. <gasps> what even is that? Gift. Can we stop with these hat gifts? Can we stop with the hat gift? We know bro is loving every second of this. Maybe it's just people trying to get him angry, troll him, which he just cries on purpose and, you know, makes all the little Timmies laugh. And, of course, they're gonna keep donating. They're gonna keep using mommy's credit card to just throw, I don't know, roses or whatever the fuck it is at this guy. Excuse me, ma'am! You are helped when you are visiting Psychic! Would you please this is exactly why I said fuck working at McDonald's earlier, because I do not want to deal with this shit right here. Goodbye, with the understanding, I have quietly the loud. Get the fuck out. Now you're not asking quietly, so shut the fuck. I have no idea what she was asking for. I have no clue what it was, but you don't have to have like a... Karen freak out in the middle of a Starbucks. Like, is it really that hard not to, like, absolutely lose it in public and act like a complete entitled Karen in front of workers at Starbucks? Like, they're just trying to do their job, bro. And y you're here. You're here asking them, interrogating them, basically. <laughs> Yeah, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, everyone wants you to leave. And believe me, guys, I've had my run-ins with Karens. Like, this one lady just bitched at me because of, like, tax on, like, prepared food. And she just started bitching at me. Like, bro, I just work here. What, what the fuck do you want me to do? Like, I'm just a shitty cashier who wants to jump off a cliff every time I enter the store. Like, fuck you want me to do? Day in the life of making thousands of dollars selling my Tata sweat in bottles. Day in the life making thousands of dollars selling my ta, -ta sweat in bottles. What 
the fuck? Like, and I know what you're thinking. I'm probably gonna roast the girl selling the product, the liquid, we'll say. No, I'm not gonna roast her for doing that. I'm gonna roast the people who are actually fucking buying this shit. Like, who on this planet is buying this? I don't know. Like, who the fuck wants to buy melon sweat? Like, I'm sure we all know the type of person who's buying this. That neck beard that lives in his mom's basement. Oh, yes, melon sweat. I need more. I need to buy more for my queen. If people are dumb enough to buy it, you know what? Fair enough. Like, of course, there's no way in Foxville I'm buying that shit. But you know what? If people are stupid enough to buy it, fair enough. Obviously, it's a weird hustle, but somehow there's a market. I'm very shy. Pretty, please be nice to me. UWU, 15 plus. There's no way this is a girl. Either that, or maybe it is. I'm on the off chance it is. You already know who's joining that shit, bro. Oh, why, hello, kids. I came across. <laughs> May I play with you? May I keep you company? I'm sorry for making you depict that scenario in your head. I, I apologize. Hey, man, it's the truth, bro. These motherfuckers be down bad. Literally any fucking pussy they can get, they can, they're gonna go for it. All those down bad Xbox kids, like, I'm sure there's a couple of them out there that are gonna be like, oh, gamer girl, oh my god, I gotta join. But yeah, there are literally so many people in Gen Z that will literally do anything for an ounce of pussy, and it's fucking crazy. Homie got caught on the hub. Yo, 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 what's up? Yes. Yo, yo, yo. yo. No, I swear, it was just a joke, I swear. Please, please, it was just a joke, I swear. Nah, bro, what are you doing? Like, I'm telling you, the school is ops. When it comes to search history, I said it in another video. Like, bro, I wasn't lying. Like, look at this kid right here, bro. He just got caught on the orange website. And plus, why would you even look that up at school, bro? Like, you can't wait till you get home. Like, what the fuck? Bro? Like, I'm sure nobody wants to see you get a nice, fat, and gloner by watching some girl get railed by some dude. Like, no one wants to see two people have an adult fun time on some kid's computer. I have to report this. It was a joke. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll take it off. I'll screw this. I'll screw this. I swear, it's just a joke. Too late. I swear, it's just a joke. Yeah, right. Dude, I swear. No, I cannot get in trouble. And then he tried to play it off as it was a joke. Nah, bro, you were for real. No, don't even, don't even cap like that. I mean, if this kid's panicking or you're like, oh my god, it was a joke, it was a joke. Yeah, you're, you weren't joking. Please, Mr. Jones, please don't. No. You can do all the begging you want of Mr. Jones not writing you up or whatever. Please don't miss, write me up, Mr. Jones. No, it's not gonna work. But yeah, uh, bro got embarrassed in front of his whole class too. That's crazy. Now I guess forever this will stick with his reputation. They'll be known as the kid that looked up orange material in class. Get in there! I'm innocent! I swear! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! Oh, shit. Never mind. Guilty! Oh, okay. I just got a call saying you're innocent. You're free to go. Bro, what is this goofy-ass skit, bro? Like, I don't know who is watching this. There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to watch this all the way through. So, sadly, you're gonna only see half of it. I know, I know you guys want to see the whole thing. I'm sorry. But there's no way in hell anyone is going to want to stay in the cell. Literally anyone, if that guy's just being that fucking creepy. Like, and then every, I don't know, every camera angle with that guy's face and he makes some creepy-ass face, like, I just get even more and more uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, something about that just puts a pit in my stomach, bro. Like, that shit just makes me feel so weirded out. Like, I'm sorry, nobody's laughing at this. I don't know, unless you got a really weird sense of humor. Like, this shit might be more cracked out than a lanky box video. Actually, no, that's pretty hard to beat. Well, I like rap music, but not that much. I guess these two are hardcore vamps. Like, I'm sure they went around the entire mall, like, blasting whole lot of red. Like, I'm sure that that's what happened. Like, you know, I enjoy me some Playboy Cardi music, but not that much. Holy shit. Not to the point where I would, like, pull up with a JBL to a mall and just start blasting it. Like, no way. Time for my biggest confession. I'm a Reddit girl. I have the app and browser bookmarked. I check it in class and at work. I love r slash ATIA, and I'm a self-proclaimed no sleep fanatic. I have Reddit gold, u slash, r slash, love it all.
Well, that was quite the confession. I I'm really glad you came clean about that. It must have taken a lot of courage, like a lot. And you know what? Let me come clean now since um this girl was so brave to admit that she uses Reddit. You know what? Let me do it too. I use Reddit to find dumb shit to react to for my videos. Wow. I know. I'm such a brave soul. Jeffrey D. Halloween costume. Why would you be want to dress up like that, dude? Oh my god. Nah, everyone's gonna be running away from you. You would get no candy. You go up to the door. Trick or treat. They see you're looking looking like Jeffrey. Well, they're gonna shut the door on you. And you're gonna get no candy. And think about it. Who's gonna praise this costume? No one's gonna sit there and be like, oh, that's a nice Jeffrey D costume you got there. Oh, that's that's awesome. You could kiss that goodbye. Dimensions once more mentions the aliens. <laughs> They've made it to Earth, supposedly. From it. There's a hundred thousand likes. The aliens finally made it. The aliens, they finally made it. Holy shit, Muscle Man from regular show. Oh my god. Nah, seriously, why does it sound like Muscle Man though? I think this dude's gone insane. But that dude has the same Nike shirt on that I have right now, bro. Oh my, I'm matching shirts with this dude. Well, great to know that they have the taste of a mentally deranged conspiracy theorist. That's, that's awesome to hear. I'm climbing. I'm a mountain boy. They're in outer space. If he's in an apartment, he's definitely got a noise complaint. No way he's gotten away scot-free with that one. Bro's jumping all over the place and screaming like muscle man. And doing whatever the hell that is. I, I don't know. I'm just as confused as you are right now. But I guess this is our day and age. I mean, the dude looks like he's in his 30s, but still. And that's basically the rest of that video. You're welcome. I wasted my time watching that, so you don't have to. If you could have me for 24 hours, and I couldn't say no. What would we do? This sounds like a Ford F-150 ad. It's just about a cut to a Ford F-150 like this. If you had 24 hours with a Ford F-150, what would you do? You could go mudding, off-roading, or have a nice plane ride around with your wife and kids. Go pick up a Ford F-150 today. A lot of people think I'm confident, but I'm actually just loud. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to believing in myself, I'm an atheist. <laughs> All right, I get it. Some of my jokes missed the mark. You know, some of them don't really land, but oh my God, those did not land for me. We'll just say that. Oh my God. But if you're on the floor rolling, that's your sense of humor. Hey, hey, that's completely fine. Humor is subjective at the end of the day. All our taste and humor is different, but that shit was sit down comedy for me. I mean, the audience seemed to like it unless that was a laugh track, of course. No clue. Her, I really want to kiss you. Me, really? Why didn't you say anything before? I was scared you'd say no. Do you want to laugh? Go on. I've wanted to kiss you ever since I fur- Oh my god. Sorry, I couldn't keep physically going, but like- And it didn't help that there was sad music playing in my ears, but I had to replace it with Nintendo music for you guys. It just made it ten times more soppier for me. It was getting it too- It's just a bit sad for me, man. <laughs> This dude really just kissed his phone. I'll save your eyes. Imagine kissing your phone pretending it's a girl. Like, I don't think I would be okay with myself if I did that. Damn, my boy winked and everything. Yo, he's got the Riz. Yo, they call, I bet they call him the Rizzler at school, bro. Or maybe they call him the Rizzard of Oz because he's got that Riz. Whoever commented this, yeah, I would be creeped out right now if I were you. If that was directed towards you. The comment just said cringe. Oh, God. I don't even want to know what he does if it's worse than that. Sometimes I get a little insecure about my content. Then I look at this stuff and it's a nice reassurance. We'll say that. Pixel cat gender. Traits for this gender may be. You're gendering feeling digital. Also feeling soft or cuddly. How do you feel digital? How, how is that even possible? Would you just feel like an NPC? I have no idea. So what do you say? I'm computer slash computer self. I'm being dead ass. I just looked and it's on here. And I'm gonna skip over this because yeah, I don't want to read all these. Look at them all. There's even emojis on there. How can emojis be pronouns? I don't know. Are you sure you don't like white boys?
Yes, sir, bro's got the grill. Yes, sir, that fucking cavity drill grill. Why does this dude look like the Joker if he was a rapper? If the Joker right now were to just enter the rap game, that's what he would look like. That right there is what I would imagine. Seven thousand likes, and all seven thousand of them are sitting in their greasy computer chair in their Cheeto-infested room, and they're driving their anime cars with their really family-friendly anime stickers on there. I've seen motherfuckers whipping with anime stickers on their car. I'm not gonna talk about like like a normal sticker. I'm talking about like those really family-friendly ones. If I were to take a guess, this is the content those guys, those moderators, indulge in. <laughs> Kitchen sounding ass. Me when a ball guy tries to flirt with me. Damn, you don't want Mr clean in your life? That's... Oh, that's so tough, bro. That's tragic. You're just missing out on seeing some bald, shiny-ass head, bro. I'm just saying. Stop hating on the bald head, bro. Come on. Mommy, what is a Caillou? Can I get Minecraft on my PC? Sure, sweetie. Now is it for free? No, it's actually a thirty dollar piece. Bro's got that Marcus Smart cut. Me, 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 me. That's, that's literally all I hear, bro. If the lyrics weren't there on screen, I probably wouldn't be able to tell what is being said. Oh, heck no, that's a very high cost. Come on, mommy, that's not a high cost. Why don't you play another game? Well, what other game is there to play? Fortnite? No. Roblox? No. Pac-Man? No. Lego? I mean, most games are 60 bucks, so 30 bucks is pretty good. And then some games are probably even higher than that, like that come with like fucking action figures like remember that game skylanders you had to buy like a starter pack with it it was like 100 bucks it was crazy y'all remember that shit or am i or i just have a weird ass childhood now that i have your attention with that video I would like to play a game of spot the difference shall we play along i don't know man i'm, I'm really curious what is the difference in this video she's doing the same exact trend what's the difference both wearing shorts What's the difference? You know the difference. Then why did you ask what the difference was? Your users 13 to 17. Yes, I do. Not showing them that video and showing them this notification is inappropriate. Bro, this is AI doing this. You know that, right? It's not an actual human. I don't know if that thing's an algorithm-based tool or whatnot, but I'm pretty sure it is. There's no way a human takes the time out of their day to do that and send that to millions of people. You're telling them that their bodies, if they're larger, are inherently sexual and inappropriate. That's the harmful message. Stop it with this fat phobia. I am so tired of this app shaming large bodies i'm done this is stupid yo tiktok come on bro that was pretty fat phobic of you tiktok algorithm oh my god it just gets me so mad that an algorithm is just so fat phobic i'm pretty sure that's random as hell that, that is not a sign of fat phobia like huh but apparently no tiktok headquarters has got to fix their algorithm asap dj khaled said these new releases cannot touch the floor Bro's got that shit on a pillow. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how Gen Z is with shoes, bro. I keep them babies clean, bro. Let's go. I mean, I try to keep my shoes clean, but you know, the forces I mentioned like five, six months ago, yeah, those are fucked up. Maybe I should invest in the DJ Khaled pillow. God, dude. Perfect. Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Well, let's hope you don't have any paper cuts or else it's, that shit's gonna burn. How girls on TikTok make coffee. Right, just a little bit of milk. Oh no, the phone, that's totally real. It's probably just the phone case chilling there. Let, let's keep it a buck. Yeah, let's just pour a whole ass bucket Mr. Clean would use to clean that bathroom up of milk. Yes, perfect. Yes, this will make a great, funny, entertaining video for the gang. This is the viral video, guys. Okay, I'm not really much of a coffee drinker. Do people actually add like excess milk and sugar and all that stuff? Yeah, and just a tad bit of sugar. And some coffee, just a bit. What the hell was that noise like? I really couldn't tell you, but that shit definitely tasted like ass if that noise came out. I don't know. I wasn't expecting this little middle schooler concoction to be good anyway. But if it was good, you probably would have heard like a mm, 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 shit slaps. See when I find out my crush likes me.
People find wasting things funny. Yeah, man, they do. 16,000 people gave this a like, man. Yeah, man, it, it was so funny. Um, I'm falling out of my chair over here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let me shut the hell up before someone actually takes me serious. Anyway, yeah, this is very cringy. I don't know who the hell would find this funny. But apparently 16,000 people smash the like buttons. Me when I find out my crush doesn't like me. I don't know why you would do this after your crush likes you back or whatever the hell. I would be like FaceTiming her going going off like the Rizzler T Rizzly. Not doing whatever the hell this is. Yeah, that's the first thing I gotta do. I gotta film a food wasting TikTok. When my crush likes me back, alright, in order to the score, we gotta film a TikTok of waste. We just cracked the case, guys. So let's find out if our signs are compatible. Let's download the app Serene. What are these facial expressions like? Hmm. <gasps> NPC. And learn more about my sign with daily horoscopes. And yes, we're compatible. Oh, hell no. Astrology? I really don't get how that determines if you're compatible or not. There's no way, like, the time of year we're born would even affect that. Bro, that looks like the crustiest backpack in the nation. Did you actually wear that to school in elementary school? That's how old that shit looks. But yeah, that's such a W tactic, guys. Not like the milk is gonna completely spoil or anything. Nah, not at all. And to top it all off, you're eating it in a crusty backpack. This is the perfect snack on the go. Who knows how much dirty pencil shavings are in there? Hell yeah. I want some, bro. You need to start paying for your own food. <laughs> Damn, that, that must be Marvin's room level sadness. I mean, guys, look at her face. His cups of the roses just gets me singing Marvin's room. Okay, that is the most stage sad face I've ever seen. Uh, hi, yes, I'm a representative from Hollywood Studios, and I think we'd love to have you in one of our up-and-coming movies. Superb 10 out of 10 acting. Okay, then she goes on to promote some other app. I don't even know. I don't know shit about it, so I'm not gonna say anything. Until I get noticed by any designer. You're gonna be walking for a very long time, that's all I'm saying. If I get any designers watching this, would you approve of the drip? Because I wouldn't. Bro, looks like he's ready to go to space or something. That looks like a space suit. I guess this is a new style, the new drip on TikTok. What? It's not gonna happen. Half the Reddit comments on here are flaming your fit. And plus, it's not gonna magically happen in 15 seconds like it's a goddamn movie. Why some men choose Wonder Bread Woman over you? Guarantee it, she's probably gonna say something like, Why am I not getting a top 1% Chadley businessman hit in my life? For you. And when I say Wonder Bread, I'm just talking about girls who are a bit more plain, a bit more basic, average. And you, on the other hand, are like a divine French croissant, and you're confused. You're like, I don't get it. Why are you going for Wonder Bread when I'm right here? There okay, you definitely say I'm not like other girls on the daily. She's definitely that one girl that thinks she's like quirky or something. This is definitely giving me some main character vibes. I can assure you, you're not getting your own anime art. There are three reasons why this happens and I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. Starting with reason number one, Wonder Bread is cheaper. Okay, you get a lot more value for basically half the price of a Christmas. What do you mean half the price, dog? What? I see this analogy just does not check out at all. And apparently I'm out here shopping. I'm I'm looking. I'm like, oh, that Wonder Bread's looking cheap, man. That's half the price. Like, what? She's treating it like the men are like over here shopping. Everyone's making it mad complex for no reason. Dating is literally becoming its own subject at this point. Like, I gotta sit here and jot down, take notes. Oh, okay, so Wonder Bread, like, nah. Like, there's no girl out there, I guarantee you, on this planet watching this video that's taking notes. None. There are no crumbs. With a croissant, a lot of crumbs, and some guys honestly don't want to deal with it. But here's the thing. The people that like croissants love croissants. Croissants, they're bad for you, and if you eat enough of them, you'll look like Nick Avocado. So, you know, I'll, I'll go with the Wonder Bread. This is a post that I posted yesterday on my Instagram and it got 14 likes. I have over like 7k. <gasps> it got 14 likes. <laughs> Do you want a tissue, man? Here, here I'll, I'll give you some, I'll give you a tissue. Here, have have a tissue. Wow, someone didn't give you a virtual heart on Instagram and you're making a whole TikTok complaining about it. That's just insane. I'm talking about people that are supposed to be in my circle or people that I associate with that will like other people's photos in the group or people that we know. No, girl, no. 
They didn't give you that heart. Oh, that's that's terrible. No, but seriously though, turn the damn phone off if you really care about social media that much. So if you're not liking it, I see you and I know why. And you're a loser. Oh, roasted. Oh my God. Whoever it is out there not liking your photo, you can't come back from that. She just called you a loser. How are you going to let the op slide on you like that? Me personally, I'm not letting that one slide. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get my get back real quick. And it doesn't bother me. I'm going to keep posting, but I'm calling you out. I see you. Hi, stalkers. But talk about it not bothering you, yet you make a whole video on it. Like, you seem a bit obsessed. You seem a bit honed in on the fact that you got no likes on your last post. Oh my god, everyone's gonna say my Instagram's dead. She's gotta turn off the phone, seriously. Uh, <laughs> Ugh, why the hell did you just lick the table? Oh my god. Like, who knows what kind of bacteria is living on there? Like, who knows where other people's hands have been? Could have been in a public bathroom if you're lucky. Or maybe, like, a school bathroom. That's, like, one of the most unsanitary places on the planet. I'm like, bro, I probably should bring in a whole-ass biohazard suit to walk in the goddamn school bathroom. That's how bad it smells. It smells like some day-old piss, bro. You legally have to give me a month. No, I don't, because you haven't paid one brown penny. I, I'm not obligated to, and I I can't afford to. You can't just tell me I have two weeks to find somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it works. You gotta have to pay your side of the rent or get out. Whoever you're living with is probably busting their ass at work to pay for your rent too because you want to be a lazy piece of shit. Clearly, you agreed on you splitting the rent. You've had over <gasps> a month. And no, you haven't! Look. You have done nothing but dig your heels in and try and make me feel bad about you. No, I haven't. Me. I've been trying to educate you. Educate you? What, so you don't have to pay your side of the rent? Are you just making an excuse at this point? She's definitely that one Twitter girl IRL. But oh, I'm actually, I'm trying to educate you. Like, shut the hell up. Clearly, you've been a shitty roommate. Then you just blame it on your shitty mental health and say, oh, I the, the, this and that. Like, obviously, mental health is a serious problem, but it clearly... At this point, it's just you being used as like a scapegoat. I have schizophrenia! I don't care what you have. I don't. <laughs> it doesn't mean we live in squalor. And it doesn't mean you're a bully. Yeah, bro, stop bullying, man. Okay, that's probably like the last thing that should leave my mouth. If you're gonna bully your roommate over here, not pay a single dime for rent. Like, I find it pretty hard to say no, but in this situation, I don't think I will find it hard at all. Like, all, all, I, all I gotta say to you is, what is the shape of Italy? And hopefully you catch a drift and you're out. You, I'm not even a bully! You literally dead name me, misgender me, and tell me that, like... Are you trying to get Twitter to cancel her now? Like, oh, guys, she made gender me. Like, bro, it's not going to work. Mooching off other people is not the way to live. She desperately needs to go find a job and stop being so terminally online. I'm not trying to turn you on. Or would you like me to? Yo, what? This video took a nice deep dark turn into like some street alley. Oh my god, this is the most shady video I've ever seen. Like, would you like me to- Bro, what, what do you mean by that? Mean by that? Like, why is there some fox on my screen that looks like Nick Wilde asking me if I want to be turned on right now? Like, I, th I think I'm living in a fever dream. I think that's what's going on here. Are we living in a dream? Okay, never mind. This does not look like Nick Wilde. I'm tripping. I'm tripping balls right now. I promise I'm not on any substance. Like, all the cringe I'm looking at is making me hella dense tonight. Are men trash? Cis, heterosexual men, absolutely, especially white men. Weren't you- What? Damn, what? What do you got to get straight men, bro? Or straight white men? Guess we're just gonna throw equality out the window? All straight men are trash. Like, that's a pretty big generalization, don't you think? It definitely is. It's not necessarily something I'm gonna, like, saying via statistics. I'm saying via experience. Would it be misogynistic if a man said all women are trash? Yes. It's the same way as, like, reverse racism. So in that case, isn't it kind of, you know, misandry? What? That, what? <laughs> all right, I don't know why she even said that then. But apparently you can say men are trash. What? Okay, you definitely use Twitter on a daily basis. Not just a daily basis, but maybe maybe 24-7, maybe on an hourly basis. For a woman to say that men are trash? Oh, I wouldn't say so. I mean, yeah. So are you a misandrist? Close to, but I'm trying to come out of that. Am I trash then? Sure, yeah. Personally, I want to take that disrespect. No, but seriously, clearly you can tell one person's way more intelligent than the other in this interview. Twitter has damaged her brain so much, dude. Oh my god. Like, she's definitely just taking, like, popular talking points from, like, a toxic 
Jesus' Twitter group. And she's just rolling with that. She probably doesn't even truly believe that, just, just based on how many times she's contradicted herself. But yeah, in her world, she's the main character, and I'm just a piece of trash that she's, got, she's about to throw in the dumpster. There's something so demonic about this, and I can't even articulate what it is. This is such a Gen Z moment. I don't care how many people, how many commentary channels covered it. This needs to be in the video. How is curing the blind a demonic act and needs to be canceled on Twitter? Like, these motherfuckers are actually brain dead. Like, there's just a bunch of NPC robots just scrolling on a platform at this point. And it's like, anytime Mr. Beast drops a video, they program, like, this code. They come up, like, this with this reasoning why to cancel Mr. Beast, I swear. It happens every video at this point. Hey, if you pose a transformation of your body, which... Just be happy in your new body. Just be go off and be happy in your new body. We stop shitting on your your old fat self. Nah, they're just happy about their progress. They're not like, oh, I used to look like a fucking humpback whale. Wow, look at me now. Like, no. <laughs> they say, like, after hard work for this amount of years, we're finally here or whatever. Or like getting gains or something. I don't know. Like they're proud of their work. You shouldn't have to fucking shrink your body to have value. And it's like, please stop advertising to me. Please get off my fucking for you page. Look, like. Well, you're engaging with the videos. What do you expect? It it's gonna keep popping it up on your for you page if you engage with it so just if you see it just scroll right by it or maybe get off the phone and your problems will be solved there's enough space for that i don't want it how many times do you have to report and say not interested to your transformation videos okay maybe the solution is getting off the for you page or tiktok all right clearly scrolling past is not an option at this point like seriously go outside go for a nice walk like it'll, it'll clear the mind and you know <laughs> Yeah, that's him. That's his build. I wasn't kidding. He looks like that man if he were to sit on Twitter 24-7 and do nothing else with his life. What, yo, what is that drip? Negative drip. Far past negative. Obviously, I can't show the little symbol on his jacket or else I'm gonna get smited off the platform. And the guy on the left that you're seeing is a survivor of a certain event. You can you can put the pieces together. And if that was me, of course, I would not let that slide ever. Like, the amount of disrespect in that video is crazy. And of course, as a result, he was banned. Which should surprise absolutely no one. And in the video, he's showcasing a new nose ring he got that looks like a peculiar mustache. And his explanation to why he made that video is even worse. All right, it's time to address the nose ring drama. So if you haven't seen my latest video where I made this new nose ring right here, people are essentially calling me every name under the sun because- This dude can't be real. This dude, he's gotta be a mishap in AI generation or something. He must've just glitched. He has to be like a bug. He's talking like a robot gone insane. There's gotta be some errors in his code or something. So I need to tell you guys a little something about me. And you can call me crazy, you can call me whatever you'd like, any name under the sun. But I'm very in tune with my past and my past lives and lifetimes oh that I've God. lived before oh, this one. Hell. My last life just so happened to be a very infamous one. I know he never directly states it, but it's it's not looking good. And he wore a certain symbol on his jacket in a previous video. Yeah, he definitely thinks he's that guy. I don't know what kind of stuff this dude's been doing. I don't know what experiments he's been doing in the laboratory, if you know what I mean. He has to be experimented with something. Some sort of white powdery substance. You know, usually I tell people to touch grass, go outside. But for the sake of our safety, I mean, who knows what this dude will do? He thinks he's the man with the peculiar mustache. Keep scrolling on Twitter like a robot, please. Me off myself was one of the first memories I had from that lifetime. It came to me when I was five in my nightmares. You can see right where I shot myself too. That and just so many other things throughout my life have connected me to my past. After this little stun, I don't think this dude will ever get a career. He's banned on TikTok, so no more TikTok pennies coming in. And if any employer sees you doing whatever this was on social media, you're out. No one wants a mentally insane person who thinks they're the man with the peculiar mustache working at their company. Like, this dude actually looks like a threat to society. 
even worse than the Joker. And this dude looks like he's got a game enemy in my sleep or something. Like, you're supposed to give off a friendly vibe on the dating app, I would assume, and not whatever this is. And not look like a man with a peculiar mustache, of course. This isn't the only person. There's been many people who've been running into him on Tinder. You gotta be way further than down bad to swipe on that. That's all I'm saying. I don't think anyone would reach that level of in the trenches. I think it would just be impossible at that point. If you live near this guy, God bless your soul, but don't, don't fear. He's not, he's not gonna step outside. There's no way. <laughs> Do they think they're animation characters? Yeah, no, for real though, they look like they're in a cartoon. I don't know how people can do this for content every single day. If I tried that, I probably couldn't do it for like a week. Like if I was held at gunpoint to do this type of content, I don't know, it wouldn't happen. I think I would genuinely go insane. And I don't even know why they're bringing the trend back. Please keep that in the grave. I didn't even realize what the sound was at first because it was so sped up, but goddamn, please keep that in the grave. We do not need to resurrect this goofy trend. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell I just watched, but apparently this is such an enjoyable video that 100,000 people left a like on it. Probably 100,000 simps, if we're being honest here. I bet these motherfuckers got the, this on loop like, <laughs> yes, baby, yes, keep going. <laughs> okay, too far. Seriously, Bill, what was that at the end? That 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 got me perplexed. This had me very confused. You know, I think we got to put a pause on that. You know, I think we need a pause right there. Maybe an AO for the one time. I don't know. Damn, she doesn't need a stylus. Look at the drip. Look at the drip. No stylus needed for that one. Just handcrafted drip. But yeah, I would not be caught dead walking outside with that on. I'd probably get shoved into a couple lockers if I pulled up to, with that drip at school. Although she's got a collar on, I don't think she's got that dog in her. I don't know, man. Just something about this video made me recoil. <laughs> Bro think she's Bella Porch, I guess. I can't really speak though because I'm a clone of like 50 million people. There's like tons of people who do the same content as me. But you know what? At least I don't do this though. Nah, I just looked in the comments. Bro said, right hand, I choose you. Nah, you're crazy for that. Say psych right now. For the one time, please. The simps, they do be lurking. We aren't 24. I don't know where this is going, but you know what? Let's see. But we can be the two for you. Yeah, that was a pretty goofy pickup line. I'm not going to lie to you. If I tried that, it would just not work. I would get rejected instantly. Like, I would just make people cringe if I just said, Well, maybe I could be, uh, we could be the two for you. Like, no. Like, it, <laughs> it just sounds so corny. I bet there's more simps in this comment section, but do I really want to look? No. There probably was even more than the last one. Oh, yes, my lady. I, I can be the one. I got you. Bro, shut the fuck. Then this last TikToker, she thinks her clothes are alive. Or, like, the little hairs on the clothes are alive. I don't know what it is exactly, but I think she's talking about like the little hair, the lint, almost. If anybody can see that moving, that's not me. I'm not blowing on it. This is a more gallon fiber, okay? It's on my fucking pants. There we go. There we have it. Now you guys believe me? Self-aware viper fibers that are pissed off in my pants. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Are you okay? I mean, it is pretty weird that it's moving, but of course it's due to static or like, you know how you get shocked when you touch like clothing or a light switch or something. But if you want the little hairs or whatever, whatever the hell you call them, I don't even know. You want them gone, all you gotta do is grab a Okay, so the bottom part's cooking normal, but the top part's gonna cook uh, with this, with the matches, you're saying. Yeah. So when you light these, are you lighting it upside down so the flame burns, burns up into the steak? Or Correct. Correct. That's what's so cool about it. They're really about to light a steak on, but bro, that is a perfectly good steak, and you're just gonna, like, burn it to a crisp. Like, come on, that's just disrespectful. Now, that's just disrespectful to me and all the other steak enjoyers out there. That looks like a beautiful steak, and you're, you're just gonna waste it like that, bro. Come on. Go, 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 go. Bringing the fire. We're lighting it. Here we go. Great, great, great. We're in, we're in, we're in. Okay, look at this, look at this. Those matches are now burning our steak. 
cooking it perfectly. Yeah, really looking like it's cooking perfectly. You lit the damn thing on fire. I think my prediction is it's gonna be well done. And there's gonna be like a couple black wilted spots in there from the matches. Like there's still gonna be like some leftover matches in there. Beautiful cedar, just like that. Flip it over, let me see the other side. Let me Look see the other side. That. Oh! Beautifully cooked up. Yeah, it looks really beautifully cooked. There's a bunch of, looks like there's a bunch of spikes in it. It looks like it's gonna like cut your mouth when you eat it. I don't know if the insides even, they didn't even like cut it open either. I don't even know if like the insides even cooked. Yeah, like, like I said, it doesn't even look like it's cooked yet. Yeah. Yep. And then watch what happens when you flush this, okay? If you want it extra creamy, just because there's a little bit of water mixed in there, you'll add some whipped cream. Mmm, yeah, that, that looks really scrumptious. You know, guys, I really want to dig into a toilet. I feel like that's that's the move. That, that's the new wave of eating. Oh, my goodness. That is so extra. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Bro, why are there multiple straws in there? You're the only one that's going to be drinking out of this weird recipe. I don't even know what to call it. I don't even want to call it a recipe. This looks like an ice cream smoothie sundae in a toilet. <gasps> Look at it's turning. It's turning it. It's turning it into chocolate milk. And then it's as it comes down. up, wow. it's churning it. Oh my God. Toilet water. Mmm. Or what? I what, don't oh know. They poured milk in there, but still. But who knows how dirty the toilet is? Even you spend like 50 hours cleaning the damn thing like you're Mr. Clean. I'm still not eating out of there. Yeah, that's what goes inside. You can use a spoon if you want, or you can try to pour it in. No, more like a staged prank. She definitely knows what she's getting herself into. Using ketchup as a quote-unquote cleaning method. I don't know. This was definitely staged. There's no way. This amazing thing. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, looks... yeah. Keep... Oh, whoa. Yeah, yep. Open it up right there. Open it up. Oh. oh my god. Wow, what a funny TikTok. And one hour later, they're still probably cleaning it and the video, I don't know, did it perform well? I have no clue. There's no way that was worth the TikTok. Like you just spent an hour of your time cleaning that up. A mess you definitely could have prevented. Bro, this music has got me in the mood to get sturdy. I'm playing, I'm playing. But why the hell does he look scared? <laughs> Looks like the food's like about to like jump at him and attack it. Planets aren't real. You heard me and I have proof. <gasps> I've been lied to my whole life. No. You know, I would sit here and try and defute this whole video, but do I really want to? No. It's a nice, beautiful April day outside, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm, when actually, and then, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm all set. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this video, maybe phone a friend, because th this is just tough. If you made this far into the video, comment the letter Z. If you made this far, so I can see who the real ones are, bro, let's go. But seriously, I appreciate you watching to the end. Like, it means a lot. Yeah. But I, and I hope you did enjoy the compilation I put together. Thank you to my channel members, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.